look at this thing. It goes from a C down to a C, like lower on scaling. It goes from a D dex up to a C. And it goes from nothing up to a C. And nothing up to a C. And then it starts to require... 18 candle and 18 sun explosions. So if I if I did this, I wouldn't be able to wear it anymore. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to think about. My god, what about this one? Okay, this one it has the same requirements. Oh, okay, two two less strength. But the scaling doesn't go up with candles or explosions. So this one's this one's like more in line with what I'm trying to do, like equal strength, equal dexterity. This this requires the soul of Artorius. I don't think I know an Artorius. And then uh, Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. We we know him. We know him. And this one has like the best starting damage out of all of them. Look at that, two hundred and fifty-six at plus zero. What? Oh, it's only got descaling with both of them. But with how much damage it starts at, it's probably great. And that one requires, like, the least strength, but it doesn't require the two other, like, weirdy stats. Oh my god, I don't know which one of these I'm going to turn it into. I'm so tempted to do the one that I can do. We need to play more Dark Souls. I want, I want all of these down this list, and then I want to find any other lists, and I want to get everything down every other list. How many new game pluses do I need? Let's go. Oh man. It's so it's kinda of rough that I need those other stats, so I I can't I can't do this. But this is cool. Like, I really like this one as well. This one seems even superior to some of these like special ones that require a boss soul. The lightning sweet hander looks looks fantastic. I I'm blown away. Constantly. So maybe if I like, um. New game. Plus, plus. Plus, 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 plus. Um. Um, 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 um. What was I doing? I think, yeah. Like, maybe, like, if I upgrade something else crazy out of my list, I can find even more boss weapons? Like. This has to be it. Just making things plus 10 and then going up to people's menus and saying, Oh, hey, by the way, can you make this into the, the Sword of the Gods, please? So what I, I might try and, like, plus up the rest of my scimitar. See if there's, like, a cool scimitar that I can change. Let's do it. I know I'm wasting billions of souls, but who cares? I can level up any day of the week. I want cool weapons and stuff. I can get souls any day. I think, uh, four maybe? I missed this. I completed the game and I didn't do any of this. The first time I saw that you could even get an impressive weapon that was magical and mystical was Dark Souls 2. I hit it too well. The secrets were dug down too deep. We must go to the mines of Moria. And then three more to finish off the scimitar. I don't think I'm going to have enough money. Ah. We need more cash. Let's go. I better, I better like play with it with a Zoe hander. Like while we've, while we've got it, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna transform into something else. It's gonna ascend. What does that make him? Double ascended? We need more money. We need to find like a like a sponsor to bankroll the character. Is there an investment bank in Dark Souls?
This guy can't handle the Zwi. The Zwi can't be stopped. Ooh, good money. Oh, that was a lucky stagger. He was about to shield smash me through the floor. Yeet. Yeah, we should find all the guys with big wallets. I mean, maybe this is an evil playthrough. I'm, I'm robbing all these guys of their... of their, um, wages. I still find it so weird that these guys, they have blood. I thought they were like statues when we were first doing it. Oh. He's a wizard, Harry. Nope. Thank God for that. He was worth 3,000. Man, if those guys respawn, this could be how we do the money. This could be how we do the thing. Now I'm 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 so hoping that there's gonna be like a like a scimitar thing I can do. That'd be so cool. Then everything I've made plus ten can be a, a mega weapon. How many more things did I need? I needed one more. I remember. I remember. So I can make it into a lightning one. I think we I think we all expected that. That was fine. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I don't have my Quilag soul anymore, but I could have made it a Quilag Fury Sword. Just there's no way that like every weapon can be turned into a boss weapon. That's so many weapons. Wouldn't this mean, like, if I'm on the right track, wouldn't this mean that this game has the most special weapons out of any Dark Souls? I think it would, like, if every weapon can become a boss weapon, or three boss weapons in the case of this one. That's just insane. Increases the deck scaling, lowers the strength scaling. Same require well, slightly different requirements, but in the same vein. Yeah, okay. I bet that was kind of cool. We'll have to make them one day. You have the Fury Sword. Do I? I thought this was. Oh. Wait. Huh? What? They make. They make. Oh, wait. Waylag's Fury Sword. Waylags. Oh, so it's not an alternate version that's based on the scimitar. So maybe these are about categories. Maybe because the ser server and the scimitar are both curved swords, and curved swords become Quaylag's fury sword. It doesn't matter which curved sword, it's any curved sword. So, what I'd have to do is, like, I'd have to level something in the same vein as a, as, a, as the Zui Hander and see if, like, one of them... I'm assuming it's a great sword because all of these are great swords that you can make it into. Okay. Let's double check that. Ultra large great sword, okay. So great swords themselves might become something. Oh man, this is a lot to think about. It's cool though. I love this. I'm gonna have to upgrade Dark Souls score out of ten to two thousand three hundred and nineteen 
out of a possible score of 10. And that's how it goes. That's that's the score that we give it. That's the review. Well, the end score of the review. This is nice. I like this. I think we're going to go down to the, um, the painted world. I still love that you can move the level with you on it. So cool. I'm still, um, I'm still kind of like taking it over in my head. The only god left in Anorlando is Gwendolyn. The only god we found in Anolondo is Guinevere. That's odd. I don't... Hmm. I just don't know. I don't think at any point during my other save there was anything else we could say to Guinevere that was like... Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't think there was anything we could say to Guinevere that's just like, oh, hey, by the way, I know that you're... I know that you're not the god here, like... Gwendolyn is? Huh. Probably just a typo. I don't know. If it keeps on bugging me, maybe I'll, like, do something. And think of something. And have a look around Anolondo more. I mean, we've got to look around a lot more anyway. Because uh, we're looking for this DLC. Yeah, I'm sure that guy will come and find me. When it's time. Is it time? No. That was nice of him to roll on up to me and just uh, just just die. That was that was cool. Hello. Uh, Quick into the painting to avoid combat. Violent painting abduction. Ah, oh, man. I love this place. So good. I I still say. I still say in Dark Souls three. No, I didn't the first time around. That scared the heck out of me. I'm all like, yeah, we're gonna go into the painting, and it's gonna be like Happy and Super Mario. And I was just like, oh my god, it's so violent. What the hell? The painting, like, literally rips you in half, almost, to try and pull you in. I still say this is what she's painting in Dark Souls 3. I really do. I really think that, you know, that, that's exactly what she's doing. Like, the gap in the middle of the painting is perfectly this island. And uh, I really think that's a tie-in. I, I so do. I believe it in my heart. I remember this place being quite difficult. There's like a lot of fire and death and evil. I don't, I don't think I ever walked up here before. No, no, no slippity dip. Oh, I'm a bit worried about slippity dipping off without, uh, you know, saving up here. 
So let's do it the right way around if I'm going to walk along the edge there. Dark Souls 1 is amazing. All hail the Dark Souls 1. I can't remember where it was that I just walked off just now. Oh, it's here. It's here. Let's see Oh man, it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. Yeah, we need to cut that guy down so we can loot him. I think I remember most of how you unlock some of the shortcuts in here, like we need to open that front door at some point and all kinds of crazy stuff. And there was that kind of gross like plague guy that's up here. Absolutely. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I see what you did. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here's Plagueus. I really don't like this toxin. Blah. Oh man, when I went up here and I saw the bird man in the distance and I'm just like, that ain't no bird, that ain't no regular bird. And it, it surely was not. That was a nasty bird. There he is. Look at him up there, sitting next to a real bird. And there's all the other ones up there as well. I could have sworn he jumps across to here. Maybe he's waiting for me to go a little bit further. Boy, it sure would be horrible if a bird attacked me. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh! Nope. Oh god. So many hit points. So many hit points. Not good. Where did the other one come from? I think maybe he was up there, but that... Damn. This place scary. Oh, and then we got the little boss uh, pile, the shield men that are like Demon Souls guys. That's cool. How do we get around to that part? Do we go up? Huh. I guess I fall off of something or roll off of something to get over there. Oh, that's right. There's that passage through, yeah. never made this jump. Like, pretty sure I never made this jump. Damn. Let's try and run and jump around the corner. I hate it. Maybe you can get off of this point. 
No. I remember my face went really red, red and I was sweating and I was like, oh man, I'm wasting so much time on the stream trying to do this jump. And I think I'm a, I'm a little bit more relaxed now about doing things wrong. But geez, I was so embarrassed that I couldn't get this right. But really, it's, it's not me that should be embarrassed, it's the level designer. Trying to like build up some momentum and like do a jump from that one, but just kind of failed. Oh, I swear there's a bit of an invisible wall there that just like wrecks it. No, it's so close. One day I'd love to know if this was possible and what you get out of it. <sighs> that just warped me down. Trying to land on that, like, that jutting out bit instead. I don't know if maybe that's the right sort of tactic. People on YouTube later on can just fast forward through this bit, you know, if they, if they really hate watching me do this. Ah. Although I, I really might personally just give up after a while just because I feel like giving up. Because it just, it just... It's just horrible. I think I even tried looking like from above this building and seeing if there was a way to drop down on it and I can't remember if that ever came to any anything. I don't remember if we ever got this. I don't I don't I just don't think so. like it should work. It does. Trying to do a little backwards hop onto it. Wonder if I can destroy this door. Nope. That's sort of in the way.
No. I want my cracked red eye orb. Ah. Okay, okay. I call it quits. I give up. Oh no. Don't tell me this is another jumping bit. Oh, that one was easy enough. I always thought there was something I could cut down out here. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Oh well, I'll do this side bit first. I believe I forgot about Mr. Climby. guy that drops down into this with me I guess I guess he doesn't always do it I also thought there was a piece of loot in here like a like a monk's outfit or something it might be that this is somewhere that you can fall down and end up in if you miss like a jump or something I, I remember something like that vaguely oh here we go all painting guardian set nice I remember that had really high something defense on it. Either lightning or poison or, you know, just something worthwhile. How do I get out onto that balcony, I wonder? Here we go. And then chippity choppity. Down he goes. Nice. Scared the hell out of me. There he is. Chunky, chunky bird zombie looking thing. We're gonna go downwards first and try and open the various doors. Ah, you might have to go in into the bird fight, the zombie fight, before you can um, even do that. That guy fell off and didn't die? Wow, wings are a really good advantage. 
Hopefully, if I go over here, I won't upset him. Okay, cool. Now, I know we can't open uh, this side over here, wherever it is. But we need to get past to the skeleton wheels to do that. Let's go. Demon Souls boss. Oh, this is a really good spell for this. Well, that doesn't really feel like it's working, so let's go. Hey. Nice. Now out into the loot fields. I think there was an item description somewhere in here that said, uh, oh yeah, prisoners just get launched onto the item island in these cages, and it's a prison island or something like that, like an Alcatraz. Seemed really cool. Either that or that was like a guess we were making, I can't really remember. It's a good bit of theme though. How do you make sure prisoners don't escape? Launch them onto a prison island. Boom, done. Huh, I kind of remember this bit taking longer. There's the other pyromancy. Cool. Yeah, we just kind of whooped our way through this. Fair enough, the music's nice anyway. Does this require kicking down? It does not. I can't remember if I went through this wave first. 
before we cracked open the the opening. I think I was worried about this uh, floor buckling in, and then it, it doesn't ever do that. Yeah. So this one, it's actually locked, so you can't go that way first. That's fine. Um, we'll try it up. Okay. And we cut down Joe. This is the other way into the uh, skeleton pit. This is fine. Wow, it's even darker in this version. Slow and steady wins the race. Well, that was almost my death. Any more skeletons down here? Skeletons, show thyselves. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm assuming this is out into the, uh, the little old courtyard. Let's have a quick look anyway. Yep, okay. Scratch that. Next direction. I'm putting the brakes on your plans of evil. The annex key. We really wanted that. Hmm. 
Hmm, stairway, you see. Yeah, I remember breaking into here and then being like, well, what's the point of this? Oh! I don't remember if I looted that off of him or not. Surely I must have, but yeah, Pyromancy, Fire Surge. Maybe that was just a spell that I didn't like. I know there was one in there with like, um, 30 charges or something, and then you cast in, it's just like, it just goes 33-0. And then it's just, it's just out of itself it's so quick. I think that's everything. So I remember this section being quite taxing before. And I've only got two health potions left, but we'll see how much we can do. I remember that that Sins guy belongs to like the Velkia Covenant and it was like hey these are the people who go after the sinners I remember this bit had like a double bird problem where you'd go for the chest and then those two would fly down or some two it's a bit mean can survive being double bird attacked. Just about. Jeez. Oh, it wasn't a chest. It was a poor blacksmith that didn't make it. Who had the dark ember. What a hero. Truly a great man. It's just mean though that I don't have to fight any birds up here because they already jumped off. Yeah. Cool. I can see that horrible loot that I couldn't jump to. Makes me so angry. Oh, on the other version it was super dark down there and we couldn't tell what was down there. On this version of the game, it's a little bit brighter at least. So this is the same Velka stuff. So this, I think this even is the crown that that other guy, the Sins guy, is wearing. This loops all the way back round to the, uh, the zombie bird thing fight. And that's the drop where you can get back down to where I was saying, huh, there's nothing out there. This is probably what we'll do. Ow. 
the last of the old flask. So now that I'm going up and out and resetting everything, I guess we should see if we're, we're, we're like teleport enabled. I don't think I really checked that whether we can teleport between bonfires now. Egg vermifuge. What? Maybe this is what the um the little guys want at the beginning of the game. They're like give Give me, give me this, give me that. Removes parasitic egg from body. Did a sour chestnut, removes parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos. Oh, those gross guys. And the egg symbolizes selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under special circumstances. Oh, wow. I hope my coven doesn't try and, like, make me one of the guys. It's, it's gross. Uh, but yeah, let's try and not aggravate the, the thing. Again. Because if I have teleporting enabled, I want to use some of this money on upgrading my, my flame. That's why the teleport is important. Yeah. Did any of these have any loot in them? No, they're kind of not open, these ones. Which is fair. Leave, level up, reinforce. Warp. There it is. This bonfire is cut off and the others cannot warp. Oh, yeah. Fancy me forgetting about the fact that we can't escape this place because I was stuck here before and I was just like, damn, I really wish I could leave. Endurance or strength? We were trying to get some more strength. There was some more stuff that we can use if we're stronger. A lot of it's heavy though, so I kind of need the endurance and the strength. It's just kind of funny. I'll go fight the zombie because it's kind of scary and fun. Scun. I want to get a good view of this guy as he's like coming forwards. Blop. Absolutely terrifying. Hey, buddy. You gonna breathe off the side for me? Thank you. Oh, no, that's not good. That doesn't work.
wait a minute. I've been calling him like a bird, both on this playthrough and my last one. But he's the same as the dragon that's off that cliff earlier in the game. It's a dragon, not a bird. Oh my god. Well, there you go. He's got bird-like features. It looks very beaky rather than, you know... I don't know. he's off to another adventure. He didn't die. He just faded away. He's not dead. He's not dead, guys. Dragon scale. Thank you. Large soul of a proud knight. And the blood shield. I remember the blood shield being pretty cool. Maybe I'm thinking of Dark Souls too, but I thought it had like a special effect on it. It was just like, oh, hey, something, something, something. Ah! Boost various resistances. That's odd, it doesn't really... I mean, it boosts various resistances, it says, but then does it? Magic defense, flame defense, lightning res I guess uh, the resistances are the, the, you know, the states of things. Uh, mm, so what kind of... Got 100% block on it. It's got a little bit less of some of the other things, okay. So it sort of isn't as good as this one. The Bloodshire was the winner of a contest? Cool. Nice. I guess I'll equip it then. Can I, can I get a turning around where I can see it in the light? No. Apparently the Blood Shield is always in darkness. I think the only light here is my, um... My fireball hand, which obviously, as I turn away, isn't lighting up the shield. It look, it looks good. Shing. It's funny. In my first playthrough, I must have spent like an hour trying to figure out how to get out of here, or even longer. And quite often, I'd come back to this and I'd try and carve at this to get rid of it, so that I could get across the bridge. I'm just like, oh my, my goodness, I can't work out how to do this level. It took me so long. It took me so long. Whoop, almost fell off while I wasn't looking. Uh, the shield was designed by Alexandro Carpus for the shield design contest held by From Software prior to the release of the game. The names of all four winning designers appear in the game's credits. Dude, that rocks. That's pretty cool. Go to the top of Bird Tower, make sure we uh, pillage the whole place. Get all the hero's loot we need to hero the rest of the game. I think two birds just fell down. Those idiots. I didn't do that, they jumped off by themselves. What were those birds up to? I remember there's one part of this where you need to jump off to get some loot. There we go. I guess I'll do the jumping off one first. Get it over with. Yeah, I think that's a cool bit of uh, trivia. I like trivia. I've been called some unfavorable things for enjoying trivia, but, you know, 
I say those people are stupid for not being interested in trivia. It's for the weak of mind to not know cool stuff and enjoy to not know cool stuff. Oh yeah, I got a buff up the top left showing that my uh, shield is giving me something. That's cool. And the other one's from my ring of um, physical protection. Again, it used to take me like a hundred goes to um, complete some of this area. Oh, we had to run back up this town multiple times because I was getting whooped. I must be doing something right. I feel like I want to like fireball this guy though, seeing as he's just kind of sitting there. I mean, he might have some exclusive loot that you only get, like, the one time you kill him. So... Wait, what? Let's let's see that again, shall we? I think the hitboxes might be a little bit wonky. Um... Okay. What? I might even have done this last time. Are you kidding me? What, uh... What are we doing here, FromSoft? Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, 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 what's this? Like, I can even lock onto him. He's real. He is an actual enemy that is there. And yet... I, I I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm, whoa. I almost left the bad way, the down way. Oh, I remember this uh, this bridge down the bottom here being a bit of a s slaughter. Oh, cool! I can be human. Maybe I should go back, be human, then try and go across the the underbridge, and then lose it almost immediately in a ridiculously simple way that could easily have been avoided. That'd be fun. We can do it. I'm gonna see what the gal at the end says again. Um, I probably she's probably gonna say something like, "Oh, please, please leave. We're not mean." But um, we'll see. It's been a while since I've heard her say it, so I'll have to listen very carefully to what she says and decide then. Off we go. Yeah, rings seem fine. Let's keep these rings. 